I'm Dave Corvassier. And I'm Kalina Estrino. So right now in your 13 Action News update, after being closed for several weeks, bars in Clark County can start to reopen Sunday at 11.59 p.m. If you're planning on going to a bar, there are some rules. So first, everyone is required to wear a mask unless they're eating, drinking, or smoking. Businesses should also be offering you a mask if possible. Those who refuse to wear one will be asked to leave, and customers also won't be allowed to sit at tables or bars that have not been disinfected. Another person who was injured during the 1 October shooting has now died, and this marks the 60th victim of the tragedy. However, Clark County and Metro say the official death count will remain at 58. The Clark County coroner confirms 49-year-old Samantha Arjun died uh, from, Las she's from Las Vegas. She died from complications from a gunshot wound to her leg back in May. Las Vegas has its first most valuable player. Aces forward Asia Wilson is the WNBA's MVP this season. The former number one pick led the Aces to 18 wins and a number one seed in the playoffs. First, the Aces will play the Connecticut Suns in the semifinals. Game one is Sunday at 10 a.m. I'm meteorologist Gina Cancellari with your headlines for your Friday. High temperatures will hit the triple digits once again today, and we're going to get windy as we move into the afternoon. Wind coming out of the south southwest 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusting up to 35 miles per hour. So with the heat and the dry conditions that we have and the wind in place, we have a red flag warning today could be dangerous as far as fires go. If one sparks, it'll spread quickly. Then for tomorrow, still staying on the windy and gusty side. Wind relaxes on Sunday, but still triple digit heat there. The smoke advisory will end on Monday with slightly cooler weather, leading us into the autumnal equinox on Tuesday with a high temperature of 98 degrees. Wednesday, the coolest day of the next seven, because it looks like we will heat up again as we head into the end of next week. All right, Gina, thank you so much. You can always get the latest news at KTV.com, our KTV mobile app, our Roku channel, and the latest version of Apple TV.